and welcome back to educator.com. Today's lesson is actually going to be the last lesson in our introduction to PHP course, and we're going to be covering a variety of miscellaneous topics. We're going to be talking about uh, what's known as the Register Globals Directive, uh, which is something that you might hear about in, in talking with other PHP developers and see in other PHP scripts. We're also going to talk about the difference between uh, the underscore get array and the HTTP get vars array, uh, which we'll talk more about in a second. We're going to learn about what magic constants are. We're going to discuss the exit and die uh, constructs in PHP. We're going to go over a few new operators um, that aren't used very com often, the execution operator and some array operators. And then we're going to talk about two sort of um, advanced topics, uh, uh, variable variables, what are, what are known as variable variables and variable functions. So the first thing is we're going to talk about it, that we're going to talk about is the register globals directive. Uh, and basically what it is is it's a directive in PHP INI that uh, when set to on is automatically going to create um, global variables for various data that's provided to PHP scripts like get inputs. For example, um, when we have had the get variable uh, that was called name, the way we've accessed it in our scripts is using the underscore get array uh, and specifying name as the key to that array. However, if we have the register globals directive set to on, PHP actually automatically creates a variable with global scope uh, called name um, that contains the value of the uh, get variable name. And so we could use that variable name instead to access the value supplied um, along with the name get variable. Um, this use has been deprecated in PHP as of version 5.3 and it's been done so for uh, security reasons but you may still see code out there that uses that that doesn't use the underscore get array to access get data. So I just want to show you what uh, that kind of looks like. If we look at this file registerglobals.php we can see that we're trying to, um, basically this, this is a script that accepts one get variable called name and we try to echo um, that variable using the uh, underscore get super global array. And then we also try to do it uh, just using the variable name. And if uh, register globals is turned on, then we can use the, this variable name to access that get variable. Uh, so the default uh, for the XAMP installation is to have registers globals turn off. So if we actually go ahead and look at uh, registerglobals.php, the first thing we're going to see is we're going to get an error. It's going to say an undefined index and an undefined variable name. The reason it says undefined index is because we haven't provided a get variable called name. So if we provide name set it equal to Matthew, we're going to see that uh, underscore get name equals Matthew, but then um, it's going to say that there's an undefined variable name and it's not going to have a value to output. And if we go and look back at the script, uh, we can see that this is where we've tried to output um, the value of the variable name that if register globals was on would output um, the value of the get variable name. So let's go ahead to php.ini and I'm going to turn on the register globals directive which is uh, uh, again turned off, uh, it's a deprecated uh, functionality that's turned off by default now for security reasons. If we go ahead and restart the Apache web server and we reload the page, we can see actually now that PHP knows what the variable name is. It's been defined in the global scope um, because register globals was turned on and we're actually able to access the value of the get variable Matthew. And just to show you that it uh, actually does that, if I change the name to Joe and submit the form, we can see that both these uh, value, both underscore get uh, with the name key outputs the value Joe and the variable name has the value Joe. 